Well, from West Asia, shifting our focus to our country's coverage of the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war, where in the latest, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has concluded his European trip on Friday, securing crucial military support from Germany amid the ongoing tensions with Russia. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a $1.53 billion military aid package for Ukraine by the end of this year. And this comes as a part of a broader strategy to strengthen Ukraine's military capabilities in its ongoing war with Russia. This initiative, supported by partner nations including Belgium, Denmark and Norway, will provide Ukraine with essential military resources such as advanced air defense systems, tanks, combat drones and artillery. Well, the announcement serves as a clear signal to Russia that Western nations remain steadfast in their commitment to support Ukraine throughout the war. Now, during his European tour, Zelensky presented a victory plan aimed at bringing an end to the war, emphasizing the need for long-range weaponry capable of striking deeper into Russian territory. The Ukrainian president also met multiple leaders in Europe, which includes Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, French President Emmanuel Macron and UK Prime Minister K. Starmer and also Pope Francis. Zelensky's trip comes at a very crucial time as Kiev seeks to shift momentum on the battlefield, especially in the light of the upcoming U.S. elections. Meanwhile, Russia is intensifying its strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure ahead of the winter season. Russian President Vladimir Putin has issued stern warnings regarding the potential use of nuclear weapons in response to the conventional attacks, further escalating the rhetoric surrounding the war. Meanwhile, four people were killed by a Russian missile strike in Ukraine's southern Odessa region on Friday. State Emergency Service of Ukraine released a video showing rescuers evacuating people and bodies from damaged building. However, news agency Reuters could not verify the location of the video. Russia has further claimed that its forces had captured the frontline villages of Zhelen and Ostraveske in eastern Ukraine. The latest in a string of territorial gains for Moscow in its ongoing war against Kiev.